It's the holidays, and that means one thing, drinking. Drinking in the morning, drinking in the evening, drinking at supper time. Okay, that's not exactly fair. The holidays really mean family, and family means drinking. But the end result is still the same. Uh, So it's perfect timing that The Guardian has announced, and I quote, type of alcohol determines whether you become merry or maudlin study. Since I'm discussing this here, and I mentioned the mainstream news article before I've discussed the actual study, you've probably already guessed that that headline is stupid bullshit. Uh, No, this study did not in any way suggest that the type of alcohol you consume determines whether you become happy or sad. Uh, That might be accomplished by observing people in a controlled environment, drinking various types of alcohol, and then having them report their feelings before and while they are inebriated. This study, though, was just a survey. They asked people to report on what they had to drink in the previous year and how they felt when they drank it. That's it. When someone reports that they had red wine and they were relaxed, it could mean that they were anxious and the red wine relaxed them, or it could mean that they were already in a relaxed mood and so they chose red wine because of that. Or they could have actually been an anxious mess all night and are simply misremembering how they felt. And if it's the former, in which they were relaxed by the red wine, that could mean that, sure, there's something about red wine that's more relaxing than, say, tequila. Or it could mean that people in certain cultures associate red wine with a cozy night inside while associating tequila with a wild night out. So they're influenced by that in what they choose to drink and how they react to that drink. The survey itself even makes that clear since people reported being more relaxed when drinking at home and feeling more confident and sexy when drinking outside of the home. Different kinds of alcohol aren't actually all of that all that different from one another. They might be more sugary or they might have more alcohol by volume. Uh, And those things can change the way that we react to them. If something makes you drunk more quickly, you might associate it with bad hangovers or with wild behavior. But at the end of the day, you're just consuming ethanol in various quantities. And you should be aware of how strong your drink is and how much water you're consuming alongside it if you want to have a less regrettable night and a more pleasant morning. Other than that, just... Drink what tastes good and what you're in the mood for in that moment. Don't believe any nonsense about which alcohol will make you happy or sad. All of it is, ultimately, a depressant. (laughs) If you want to get happy, I mean, just stick with cocaine. Just kidding. Hugs, not drugs, kids. Hugs, not drugs.